This is a Samsung 3D Ready TV. Now, the only way you know that these are 3D Ready TVs, in the store they have little stickers that say 3D Ready and all the other devices. On the box it says 3D Ready, and, but the telltale sign is on the back here. There's a plug for 3D glasses. They made about three million of these in the last three years. Nobody knows what they are, how they work, what it's all about. And you read the manual, it doesn't tell you. Here's how 3D works. You have two eyes. Each eye sees the world from a slightly different point of view. In other words, you have two images. Your brain sees the two images, puts the two images together, and calculates that difference as depth. And that's what we see 3D. To see 3D in a movie or a TV, which is a flat screen, you have to have two images superimposed, one on the other, but in such a way that only one eye sees one image and the other eye sees the other image. That's where the glasses come in. The Samsung Mitsubishi system is called the checkerboard system. What it is is the, the image scans at 120 hertz. That's 120 cycles a second. That's twice as fast as normal television. In the course of normal television, in a 30th of a second, you see two scans of the picture. In this, you see four scans of the picture. And the first time it scans every other pixel of the right eye. The next time it scans every other pixel of the left eye. Then it fills in with the left eye the ones that it missed the last time through. And then it fills in with the one for the other eye that it missed the last time through. So in a 30th of a second, you have two pictures that are flashed at you in two different flashes. And the shutter glasses work at 120 hertz. So each eye only sees what it's supposed to see. Each eye, this eye only sees left, this eye only sees right, and you have a full resolution 1080p picture. Someday, you'll be able to just go out and buy a Blu-ray player, plug it into a 3D television set, and watch 3D. It'd be just that simple. That will be 2011, 2012, some say 2010, but it's definitely not now. To see 3D TV right now, you have to be a little bit of an inventor. It's like the early days of stereo and hi-fi when you, you buy a preamp and you get an amplifier and then you buy some speakers and a crossover network and a tape deck and a turntable and you put it all together. They were off the shelf items, but you had to make them work. I can't tell you what computer to use or not use, but you have to have a computer that has an HDMI output from the video card. That means it's gonna be a fairly current computer and probably fairly fast. So what do you need to make it work? You need, for the Samsung and Mitsubishi, you need an emitter, which looks like this. It plugs into the back. You place the emitter on top of the TV set and aim it out into the room. Then you, you need a pair of shutter glasses, and they need to be wireless shutter glasses. Before you view 3D on the Samsung, you have to turn on the 3D effect. You do that with the menu. That you hit menu, mode, and you select mode, and you, move, you click down until you get picture options. And then you use the right arrow, and you get a certain other set of options. And you go color tone, size, position, black level, 3D effect. You go to the right, 3D effect, go to mode one. That turns on the emitter up here. And then the remote control doesn't want to work because uh, the remote control, this interferes with the remote control. The, the infrared coming out and the remote control going in interfere with each other, so you have to put your hand over that to make it all go away. Now you're back to normal. Some of them have a 3D button right on the remote control, which makes it even easier. The next thing you need is a fast computer and the software to create the checkerboard image. Now there's two softwares that I know of that will create the checkerboard system of 3D. One is called TriDef and the other is called Stereoscopic Player. I haven't ransacked the market to find out all of them, but these are two that I know of and they work. And the, the other thing you need is something to play. You need a program, a 3D program to play. And you say, well, there's no 3D out there. There is a lot of 3D out there. There's 3D that you can download for free from the Stereoscopic Player website, 3D DVDs that you can purchase online, and uh, you can buy them from Amazon.com, and you can buy them from Ultimate 3D Heaven, 
And one of the three Ds uh, just happens to be one called 2324, The Making of an Underground Rock Video, which is a 3D that I've produced. These 3D DVDs are designed for an older system to work with old television sets. There's another video I'm making that'll tell you how to play those on an old-fashioned television set. But they were made with what they call the interlace system, and they're labeled either interlace, alternate field, or field sequential. When you see those keywords, those are the DVDs that you have to look at with shutter glasses. Here's how you play your interlaced DVD on stereoscopic player. Open stereoscopic player. First thing you have to do is go to view, and you go to viewing method, because there's a lot of different viewing methods, including NVIDIA stereo drivers and Sharp TV and dual screen, and you want 3D ready DLP TV. That's what Samsung Mitsubishi wants. You go to File, Open DVD. You go down here, DVD, it says Video TS. Sometimes it gives you the title, sometimes it doesn't. You click on that, say OK, and it gives you the opening menu, as any DVD would, so you can still choose a section that you want to use. Now you'll notice it's playing inside of this window. And to get rid of that, you go to View, View Full Screen, boom. And that is full screen for 720p on a 1080p machine. The reason for that is if you play 1080p on this particular machine with this particular computer, one eye will, will get caught behind the other one. It'll, it'll, one eye will freeze and then it'll catch up and then they'll be together again and then it'll freeze and it's a headache in the making. So you have the option of playing full screen and seeing 3D kind of or making it smaller and seeing 3D flawlessly. When you first experiment with your 3D TV set, it's best to start out with the highest setting that you've got, which is 1080p, 1080 by 1920. And if it works at that, and your video card is happy, and everybody's happy, great, then you've got it. If not, you have to make a smaller, lower resolution image, in this case, 720 by 1280. If you change to some of the oddball, non-16 by 9 ratios, it doesn't work at all. So here is how you change the screen resolution. You go to Control Panel, and in Vista you get this wonderful uh, view that says takes you right to Adjust Screen Resolution. And by the way, this is Windows Vista and Windows XP for 3D. It doesn't work with Mac. That might change tomorrow. But you can do it if you have an Intel Mac. You can use the PC side, and then everything works just fine. So here's the resolution down here. You go and you move this over here, and you get 1080 by 1920, and that's maximum resolution. It's best to start with the best, highest resolution and see if it works. So let's pick a chapter. And you go up to View, Full Screen Scaled, and all of a sudden it's full screen. But it's hard, it'd be hard to tell whether you can see it or not, but like there, one, one, one eye froze for a second, and then, then the other one caught up. It doesn't play very smoothly. It needs a little bit more uh, space. And if, that's, if it plays smoothly, hey, you're home free. If not, you have to choose a smaller resolution, and I just showed you how to do that. Get those downloads, get those DVDs, and enjoy it. Have a good time.